I hope you all brought strong stomachs today. Because what if I told you that long, slithery worms and other creepy crawlers were calling your bodies home? Well, believe me, it's true. Parasite, an organism that lives in or on another organism and benefits by deriving nutrients at the host's expense. Millions of people worldwide could be hosting any number of parasites and not even know it. These freeloaders make their way into your body through contaminated water, food, an insect, or even sexual contact. You may show signs of abdominal pain, nausea, loss of appetite, sleep deprivation, or you may have no signs at all, as the parasite hides inside your intestines for days to months, even years, feasting. Bon appétit. I don't, oh, <laughs> man. Who's freaking out? I don't think I've ever seen looks like in the audience like I just saw. Everybody's face is like, are you Not all parasites are bad or harmful for well, us, we but let, let's talk about the different types of parasites. Oof. Well, what, we got the worms, mm -hmm. flat worms, round worms, tapeworms. Exactly. Well, you can start helmets in the world the helmets. of medicine. Oh, yeah. Why don't we start a little smaller? How about like okay. singer, uh, unicellular, like amoebas, protozoans, Protozoa, that yeah. kind of things? So Ooh, parasites can be almost like bacteria in the yeah, sense yeah. that tiny, they're single-celled organisms, but they can get big because yeah. right. the ectoparasites, the ticks, the, the, fleas, the fleas, et cetera. Because that's the right. idea of a parasite is it uses you as a host to grow bigger and to, to, to keep going. But, mm -hmm. wait, 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 But the worms can grow to be oh, huge. many, many feet, especially the, the big uh, tapeworms. And in typically, Asia. we think of those worms as being in the GI tract, but did you all hear about this news story? So, a man went to the doctor complaining of a little bit of an itch, a red, irritated eye. So far, so good. And uh, <laughs> let's look at this, because the doc actually found oh. a five-inch oh. live worm. Oh, no, he didn't. In the eyeball. <laughs> and uh, it was living there. <laughs> And you're seeing the doctor here take that oh, worm out. Wow. <laughs> and uh, oh, it was man. said that the gentleman experienced a very bizarre sensation, and it's understandable why, why. Because yeah. look at that. I, I want to see it out something. though. I, I get it out. Oh, it's get gone. It wow. Could you? That thing is in his eye, writhing around. Could you imagine what that oh. felt like? Well, you know what? I'm oh. sure it felt like something that writhes around in your stomach for nine months. <laughs> <laughs> That's another type of parasite. That's, 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 that's like giving birth to something You're different, though. Yeah, I don't know if you're excited yeah. about giving birth to that. Well, we actually invited ophthalmologist Dr. Kyria Seal to join us today to share his opinion on the story. Because we do. We think about worms, but not so much in the eye. So what, what exactly are the dangers of getting infected with a parasite like that in your eye? The biggest danger would be if it were to burrow deeper and go into the brain where it could do real damage as a whole these parasites, uh, worms in particular, tend not to cause a lot of harm while they're alive. And they tend to be much tinier and live in the back of the eye and difficult to diagnose because they don't like light. So when we shine light in there to look at them, it, we almost think it was our imagination that was seeing something. They, they go away and it's not until they die. So you really don't want to necessarily even kill them. If you kill them, you, pardon the pun, open up a can of worms. Because <laughs> once, yeah. How the heck do they get in there? They tend to gain access to the body through the skin, usually, the ones that end up like this. Around the And eye. so it's walking around no. barefoot, you know, walking around. No, not foot. usually. Mm -hmm. Walking around barefoot in dirty yeah. soil, um, contaminated water, contaminated food. So it's not surprising that we see it a lot in underdeveloped countries. And also insect bites can start it. And when the parasite enters your body, it may actually start in your bloodstream. But at that point in time, it's not some big worm. Mm -hmm. It, it, it will eventually become thing. a worm. Um, and that's the thing, it'll find its way maybe to your eye or it can be some other organ. We've mm -hmm. seen some ghastly um, parasitic infections of the brain you mentioned. Mm -hmm. They can go to virtually any organ and then they set up shop, grow into these adult worms and that's you know, it's, it's, it's kind of scary because they really can that's what <laughs> show up clearly oh, anywhere. Man. But that's why a lot of, you know, foods, you want to make sure they're cooking even as much oh, as yeah. I love sushi. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you have to worry about things like that with raw foods and raw meats. Neurocystisarcosis from mm -hmm. raw pork yeah, you have to yeah. worry about. So yeah. Dr. Seal, thanks for highlighting these important things to look out for. We appreciate Thank you, it. Doctor.